Hey guys, Coach Sam here. I just want to cover a few things today about hockey positioning and zone coverage for beginners. So the focus of this is for any kid newer to hockey, but specifically looking at like the might level, the U8 level, kids that are new to full ice hockey, um, kids that are new to positions, or maybe they get a new position that they're not used to, uh, just to kind of give them a general idea. I'm going to kind of go through each position individually, so if you want, you can go ahead and kind of skip ahead to the ones that are, you know, the ones that make sense for you, the ones that you're playing, but it is a good idea to know all of them. So we'll start with, <laughs> look at this. So when I kind of put everything together, all the positions, all the zones, it's overwhelming to say the least, especially to a young kid. And then you're looking at our defensive zone, everywhere they're supposed to be. Centers are in this area. Left wings are up here, right wings, right D, left D. So it can look like a mess. It can look overwhelming. And the last thing I want is for the kids to get overwhelmed. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to go position by position, zone by zone, kind of looking at where each person is supposed to generally be. And again, I say that because I want you to keep an open mind that you're not stuck in this box. You're not stuck in a you know small area that you're not allowed to leave. But generally, these are the areas, especially for beginners before we get into anything real fancy. Um, generally, this is kind of where we want the kids to be at. So starting with center, here's the offensive zone. So this is where we are trying to score. Centers are kind of, I mean, they're kind of all over the place. For the most part, you're down helping. So maybe you have a left wing, the puck's down here. You or the left wing might be the one to go get it. It kind of just depends on who is there first. Same with over on this side. Um, another place you might find yourself often is in the center or up in this area trying to get open for a pass. You might also be the one that's down behind the net battling for that puck, trying to get it away from their defense. So general rule of thumb, if you're closest to the puck, go for it, go get it, win that race. Um, but you have a big area here to cover. Now that doesn't mean you have to be going back and forth. If your teammates have the puck, then spread out and be in another part of this area. Um, but generally you are able to travel that whole area. Neutral zone, you're kind of the same. I mean, you've got this whole area that you're moving around. Again, you're looking to get open. You're looking to find passes, that type of thing. Um, so you kind of get to move around and just get open for passes. We'll go to defensive zone. So now we're down here. We're by our goalie. Typically, I, you're going to have your defense back here. So we don't care to see the forwards back behind the goal line too often. Again, general rule. If you're the closest one to get to the puck and you can get there first, go for it. Um, a lot of times our wings will be the ones covering up the boards here and covering out at their defense. And you're kind of in charge of floating around in this area looking to get open for a pass to get it out or looking to kind of help cover in this part. Um, you will have wings covering too. You know, say we're on this side or the puck's over here. Well, then this wing is going to be up here covering things as well. So it's not just your area, but typically the center has control of what we like to call the house. And it ironically looks like the shape of a house here. So very general, but an idea for the senders. Moving on to right wing, down in the offensive zone again. So here we're looking to score down here. Right wing, you're generally kind of in charge of this corner in front of the net in the corner. You might be battling their defensemen down here. You might be battling their wings up here. Um, don't try to get too high. If you're up high here, you're going to get in the way of your own defensemen. So try to stay, you know, top of the circles and down. Um, you're over here, but now if the puck moved to the other side of the ice, say the puck was over here and your left wing is handling it, then that's when you're going to slide up into here. So you're going to, you got this whole area and you want to kind of slide up and then hopefully someone can get a nice pass to you and you get to shoot. So then we move to neutral zone or center ice. You're kind of similar exactly again. You've got that side of the ice to the middle, depending where the puck is. If it's over here, we want you handling it. But if the puck makes its way over here, maybe you move a little more towards the middle and you're trying to get open. Or, you know, if one of 
if the puck's over here, you might be in this area trying to get open for a pass from your defenseman. The biggest thing is just, like I've said before, trying to get open, trying to find open ice, and trying to be spread out from your teammates. And then down in our defensive zone. So now, again, we're back down by our goalie. Like I mentioned with the centers, defense tend to have this area back here. We don't need you guys super low unless it just happens that you're the closest to the puck, you can get there before your defenseman, then yes, go ahead. Um, I never want kids to hesitate. If you're the closest to the puck and you can get there, please go for it. Don't just sit and wait because you're afraid it's out of your position. But you're going to stay a little higher because hopefully what's going to happen is your defense might be able to get a pass to you, and we call that a breakout pass. So if they can pass to you and then you can get up ice. The other thing that you are in charge of in this area is kind of guarding players out here. But specifically, you're going to have the defenseman from the other team in this area and in this area. On the right side, I want you guarding that defenseman. So if they slide over, he's still your responsibility. So you're in charge. If the puck gets out to their defense, you got to get there and get it. You got to get there. You got to take out their shot, get in the way, do whatever you can. So you've got this whole area here to cover in our defensive zone. All right, left wing is going to look very similar, just on the opposite side. So again, we've got down in the offensive zone, which is where we are trying to score. You have this corner, this corner to the front of the net. Just like with right wing, don't get too high or you're going to get in the way of your own defenseman. Um, and again, it plays with the shift. If the puck is down here, you're probably the one that's going to be on it. You're going to be watching their wings over here. You're going to be battling with their defense down here. And then if the puck shifts this way over here, you are probably going to pop up in front of the net. So we don't want you following over here to get the puck if you've already got a couple of your teammates there. I want you to kind of stay here, get open, yell for that puck. Neutral ice is going to look very similar. Um, again, you kind of got this area moving and going with the puck. If the puck is on this side, you're probably in on the action right there, battling with it, trying to skate it up, make passes. If it floats over to this side somewhere, maybe you're just moving in this area to try to get open and find a pass. And back down to our defensive zone. Same as with the right wing. You won't be back here too much. You might help out in this corner a little bit, but for the most part, you're gonna be up here trying to get a pass and get out or you're going to be guarding this defenseman who's up here. You don't want them to shoot. Um, you're going to be trying to get in their way, and you're going to be watching anybody who's out here as well. You get to kind of help out. Both centers and wings are going to help out in front of the net with their defense. So you're typically going to be in charge of the kids that are a little bit higher, while a defense may be taking care of those kids that are sitting right in front of the net. And on to defense. So in the offensive zone again where we are trying to score defense tend to stay high you are going to be up in this area so this is the right defenseman you are in charge kind of from the top of the circles a little bit in maybe it depends on where the puck is to the blue line important thing is we don't want you outside the blue line we want you to stay inside the blue line if you're outside then you have the if the puck gets out and it goes across that blue line, you're off sides. So we wanna keep you inside and working on that. If the puck floats, say it's down in this corner, then D, I want you right here. I want you along those boards waiting for a puck. If it floats over to this side, then you might slide over a bit and you're gonna be more in the middle of the ice. And that's why your area covers a little bit over the halfway point. You're gonna kind of cover over here and then your other D will be on the boards there. So I want you to be able to move around in this area, staying just inside the blue line. But know that if their team has the puck and they start skating at you, you need to start backing up. You cannot just sit there at the blue line the whole time or they're going to get past you pretty quickly. Neutral zone. Um, this is very similar. Very similar. You're on the back. You're the back half here. And you're moving side to side depending on where the puck is. Exactly the same as in the offensive zone. If someone starts rushing at you really quickly, you know, at this point you need to start backing up. Don't back up so far that you back right into your goalie. You want to keep what we call the gap close. 
So you want to just make sure you stay close to them, but that you are moving back and not just standing flat footed. And in our defensive zone. So now we're down helping out our goalie trying to get it out. Defense are typically down one in the corner. So if the puck's over here, you're going to be down in the corner. You're going to be the one trying to get the puck, trying to break it out to your wings, who are hopefully up where they should be in this area. Or you might have a center in this area that you can pick a pass to. Now, if the puck goes back to the other side, you are going to shift and go to the front of the net. So we always need one defense, at least one defense, up in front of the net, guarding the front of our net. Um, chances are they're going to have at least one or two players sitting in front of your goalie, and we never want to leave them alone there. So if one is down in the corner, then this one will be up in front of the net. And then same with if it shifts. Now you might switch sides on accident. Sometimes maybe you take a puck and you start carrying it around this way. Well, then your left defenseman just has to read that, and they have to stay in front of the net. All right. Left defense. So again, exactly the same as right, but on the other side. So you're looking at the offensive zone. We're trying to score. You have this area basically from the boards just over center ice here and about the tops of the circles, maybe a little bit down, but not often. You're going to be pretty close to that blue line. So you guys are trying to keep it in, trying to keep it from going off sides, trying to have to keep it in that blue line so that you don't have to completely regroup and go back in. Um, so you'll be on the boards if it's down in this corner. And then, like I said before, if it shifts over and it's in maybe this corner, then you're going to shift over and you're going to cover kind of the middle of the ice while your, your D partner will be the one over on the boards here. All right, neutral zone, very similar. Same idea. You're kind of guarding the back of that, trying to stop people from entering your zone. But remember, in both zones, if they start coming at you and they have a lot of speed, you need to start backing up. You can't just stand there flat-footed waiting for them. And again, in our defensive zone, you will be battling down in this corner. Um, if the puck goes over here, then you're going to make your way up to the front of the net. And like always, we just need to make sure we're talking with our defensive partners, with our teammates, and knowing where everybody's at. We always have to have somebody in front of the net guarding their players. Again, if, it doesn't mean you're stuck in this area. Um, I don't want you to feel like you're not allowed to cross the, to the other side of the ice if you have the puck and you're skating around. That's perfectly fine. Then you just have to make sure your other defense stays in front of that net and covers for you. So kind of putting them all together here, we'll quickly look at how everybody overlaps. Offensive zone. Ooh, those went quicker than I thought. But you have center in the green covering that whole area. Now the right wing overlaps. And you can see him covering that kind of right corner. Bring in the left wing, covering that corner. As you can see, all three are overlapping each other, which means you guys need to be good at communicating. You need to be good at reading each other. Um, if two of you are already down here working on the puck, well, then the third person needs to be out here. Um, basically, we just don't want all three of you on top of each other all the time. And defense, you have the right wing coming in on this side, covering that area, and there's your left wing. And again, with neutral zone, we'll watch them kind of file in here. So center, they have a big coverage area, moving around a lot, just trying to get open, reading where the play is. Right wing covers that side. Um, again, overlapping a lot with the center. Make sure we're communicating. Left wing on that side. And then right defense and left defense. And then finally, we'll look at the defensive zone and how we all overlap in coverage there. You got your right D covering this corner in the front of the net. You got your left D covering this corner in the front of the net. So not really going above those hash marks at all on the sides. That's where your wings will be. Center has what we call the house. You're covering that house. Right wing. And again, you're covering their defense. They might have D out here. You are responsible for covering those boys or girls. Um, left wing, so same thing. You're in charge of covering this defense and the wings. So when you put it all together and how we started, it definitely looks 
confusing. It looks like a mess. Um, it looks overwhelming. So I don't want it to be that way for the kids. Basically, I have some general rules of thumb or when all else fails and you're not sure where to be. First, number one, spread out. If you see a couple of your teammates in that area where the puck is, find open ice away from the group and get open for a pass. So if you've already, basically, if you already see one, two of your teammates, hopefully not three, but if you see three of your teammates all in that area, don't go in there. Spread out, go to a different spot, find some open ice where nobody's at and try to find that open passing lane. Make sure they have room to get the puck to you. And that way, when they get control of the puck, they can move it across ice to you. Two, if you are closest to the puck, get it. Win those races. So I kind of mentioned this before. If I don't want you to feel like you're stuck inside a box and you're not allowed to leave those limits of where I put you. If you're closest to the puck, if you're left wing and somehow you can get close, you're closest to the puck on the right side. Go for it. Don't stand back and wait. Just go get that puck. Win the races. Think of every time as a race and you need to be the first one to get there before the other team and three don't stress out play hockey have fun the last thing I want you to do is be so worried about being in the right or wrong place that you just get stressed out and it's not fun for you it should be fun so just if you can't remember where you're supposed to be just play hockey and have fun